Hello dear students, teachers and parents. Welcome back to MG Manjari, where we bring you the latest educational updates, tip and strategy to excel in your studies. Today we have crucial update from Director of Education, DOE, New Delhi. They have released a set of key topics and chapter essential designed to strengthen your core competency in class 12th physics. Subject expert at core academic unit, CAU, along with teachers of DOE, has carefully analyzed the syllabus and identified the most important topic that every student must focus on. Now let us see must do topic for class 12 physics session 24-25 chapter 1 from chapter 1 which is electric charges and field five major topics are there like Coulomb's law, forces between multiple charge electric field due to system of charges, Electric field due to dipole along axial and equatorial point. Electric dipole in an external electric field experience a torque, stable and unstable equilibrium. Fifth, electric flux and Gauss theorem and its application to obtain electric field due to long state charge conductor, thin infinite plane sheet of charge and spherical shell. Now let's see from the chapter 2. From chapter 2, first topic is electric potential and electric potential energy due to electric dipole and system of point charge. Then equatorial equipotential surface and its property. Then electric potential due to dipole at any point, axial point and equatorial point of dipole. Relation between electric field and potential. Effect of dielectric on capacitor. Expression for capacitance capacitance of capacitor with dielectric combination of capacitor problem based on series and parallel then last topic energy stored in capacitor qualitative and problem based on energy stored in capacitor now let's see from chapter 3 current and electricity so first topic is ohm's law and its limitation ohmic and non ohmic material Temperature dependence of resistance and resistivity. Resistivity of different material, metal insulator and semiconductor. Vector form of Ohm's law. Relationship between EMF, internal resistance and terminal potential. Characteristic curve of a cell that is graph between EMF and resistance. Terminal potential between resistance, current and potential. Then combination of cell in series and parallel and Kirchhoff law and problem. Next from chapter 4 moving charges and magnetism. So first topic is Biosavet law and its application to find magnetic field along axis of a circular current carrying loop and at center of circular current loop. Then Lorentz magnetic force. Then third motion of charge particle in a uniform magnetic field and its behavior in different notation. Radius of charge particle in circular motion. Then from that same chapter, Ampere circuit law and its application to derive an expression for magnetic field due to thin and thick current conductor. Force on current carrying conductor F is equal to IBL sin theta. Force between two parallel current carrying wire and define 1 ampere. Then torque on current carrying loop in a magnetic field and current carrying loop behave as dipole. Moving coil galvanometer principal working sensitivity and conversion to ammeter and voltmeter. Then from chapter 5 magnetism and meter, magnetic field and its property. Torque on magnetic dipole in uniform magnetic field, dia, para, feather, feather substance with examples. Next chapter 6, magnetic flux and SI unit, Faraday law of electromagnetic induction applied to various situation, Lenz law is the law of conservation of energy, then derivation of motional EMF and its application to find out EMF of various. Then derivation of self inductance due to long state solenoid and mutual inductance due to two coaxial solenoid. Now chapter 7 alternating current, RMS value of current and voltage, no derivation. Expression for current in RC, LR and LCS circuit and its phasor diagram. 
पावर अक्रॉस एल सी आर एंड एल सी आर सर्किट एंड पावर फैक्टर इंडक्टर कैपेसिटी एंड रेजिस्टेंस देन रेजोनेंस एंड शार्पनेस ट्रांसफार्मर एंड ए सी जनरेटर थ्योरी एंड प्रिंसिपल वर्किंग देन चैप्टर एट डिसप्लेसमेंट करेंट ई एम वेव एंड सोर्स नेचर ऑफ ई एम वेव स्पेक्ट्रम इट्स यूजेस एंड प्रोडक्शन चैप्टर नाइन रे ऑप्टिक्स एंड ऑप्टिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट इमेज फॉर्मेशन बाई स्पेरिकल मेरर एंड स्पेरिकल लेंस देन एक्सप्रेशन फॉर एपरेंट डेप्थ नेक्स्ट टोटल इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्शन एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशन एक्सप्रेशन फॉर मेरर फॉर्मूला एंड लेंस फॉर्मूला फॉर रियल एंड वर्चुअल इमेज लेंस मेकअ फॉर्मूला रिफ्रैक्शन थ्रू प्रिजम डेरिवेशन ऑफ एंगल ऑफ डेविएशन पावर एंड कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ लेंस देन रे डायग्राम फॉर सिंपल माइक्रोस्कोप कंपाउंड माइक्रोस्कोप एंड टेलीस्कोप देन चैप्टर टेन वेव ऑप्टिक्स टाइप एंड बिहेवियर ऑफ वेव फ्रंट लॉ ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन एंड रिफ्रैक्शन ऑन बेसिस ऑफ हाइजिन वेव थ्योरी कोरेंट सोर्स एंड सस्टेन इंटरफेरेंस ऑफ लाइट इंटरफेरेंस ऑफ वेव एम्पलीट्यूड इंटेंसिटी एंड फ्रिंच विद एंड क्वालिटेटिव ट्रीटमेंट Diffraction of light, fringe width of central maximum. Numerical on this topic is important. Chapter eleven: Dual nature of radiation and matter. Hertz and Leonard's observation. Then experimental study of photoelectric effect, variation intensity of light with current, potential with current, frequency with stopping potential. Graph also you need to study for this. Einstein photoelectric equation, De Broglie relation for matter wave and electron. then chapter 12 alpha particle scattering experiment rutherford for model of atom distance of closest approach impact parameter trajectory then postulate of bose model of hydrogen atom expression of for radius of nth possible orbit velocity and energy of electron in nth orbit spectra series lyman balmer parsian bracket fund shortest and longest wave is most important they are going to ask then chapter 13 nuclei size of nuclei mcq can come numeric nuclear density is independent of mass number nuclear force property mass defect and binding energy variation of binding energy per nucleon versus atomic number nuclear reaction fission and fission with less chance but okay then chapter 14 semiconductors first difference between intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductor difference between n type and p type semiconductor Difference between metal insulator and semiconductor on the basis of band theory, p-n junction, drift and diffusion, depletion layer and barrier potential, IV characteristics in forward and reverse bias. Then lastly, half wave and full wave rectifier diagram, working input and output wave for waveform are very important. That's it for today's important new update. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to MJ Manjari for more such. educational update let's learn smarter not harder comment below if you want a breakdown of any other subject see you in next video